When our ICF walls get this tall, uh, so over 14 feet, then a six inch core is not strong enough. So these walls here switch to an eight inch thick core because they're so far with no floor system in between or roof system to add support. So these walls are taller for that reason, or sorry, thicker because they're taller. Um, you'll see there's a lot of concrete dust falling down. Uh, as we're pouring the walls and we vibrate them, that uh, brings the air pockets out, but it sometimes pushes some of the, the excess liquid out these seams. So seeing a dirty wall like this, maybe it's not the prettiest, but it means that it's been vibrated really well. Another thing I'll point out up here, right along the top, there's a bunch of numbers written, and that is how the person working on the scaffolding as we're installing these communicates to the guy on the ground on how long to cut the rebar. So that's what those notes are. I do love that we can just write all kinds of notes on these walls as we go. It makes construction super simple, less up and down the ladders.